To get the latest code changes, go to where you have the Wave 2 LipWeb UI installed and CD into it from a prompt. Run the command git pull to download the latest code changes to your local machine. Next, delete the existing Wave 2 LipConda environment by running this command. If you followed the previous Wave 2 lip install video, you probably have two environments. You can delete them both. Also, make sure to delete the Conda environment folder if it didn't get deleted on its own. It is located in the environment folder where your Anaconda is installed. These are the updated install steps. First, create a new Conda environment with Python 3.10 and activate the new environment. I'm going to skip the git clone since we already did a git pull to get the latest changes. CD into the folder where it is installed. Then install PyTorch with this command. Finally, install the dependencies from the requirements file. When that finishes, we can run the app by calling python ui.py. This will automatically launch the browser to the UI. Because I am lazy, I also created a run batch file. You can edit it and edit the line to the folder on your machine where the activate batch script is. Make sure the environment name is correct and then just double click it to launch the UI. Let's run a couple tests to make sure it works. I have two video files and one audio file to test with. Let's listen to the video and audio. You know it very well. I'm not successful and I'm not in a position that I can come up to your father and talk to him. Today we will be installing Wave to Lip, which will let us make pictures and videos talk the words we want. Let's try it out with that video and audio. Drag and drop them to the UI. I'm going to select Wave 2 Lip for the checkpoint and leave the rest of the settings default and click Generate. Today we will be installing Wave to Lip, which will let us make pictures and videos talk the words we want. Before I try the other video, let me point something out. This video, if you go to the properties and details, we can see the frame width and height as 600 by 480. And if we look at the same for this other video, it is 1920 by 1080. That won't work well with Wave 2 Lip since it was trained on 96 by 96 faces. So I would try to aim to make it 720 or 480 width or something in that range. What we can do is, in the UI for this image, increase the resize factor by 2 to basically make it half the frame size. I will also increase the padding on the bottom for the chin. Today we will be installing Wave to Lip, which will let us make pictures and videos talk the words we want. Looks like that worked. I just wanted to make this quick video showing the updated install process with just one Conda environment with Python 3.10. That is all for now. Enjoy!